Hey everyone, Zane here, and welcome to Mr. Armageddon Builds. Today we are playing with some of the silicone dog tags I found online. I'll walk through the setup of a jig template file in Lightburn, allowing us to batch process four tags at a time. We'll go over the optimal laser settings, walk through the post engraving cleanup process, and then see how good they look on my dog's collars. Let's get to it. These are the silicone dog tags I'm testing with. They're nice. They're uh, silicone all the way through. They have this this kind of double layer here, and the same on front and back. Size-wise on these guys, width, you can see that there, 40.5 millimeters. And then the height on these guys comes in at, yeah, it's, 30, it's just around 37. There's a bit of flex on that ring. So with those measurements in mind, let's go ahead and go to the uh, Lightburn software and create the jig file that we're going to utilize for these. Now you can just burn these one at a time, but for this video I'm going to utilize a jig using a design template in Lightburn. So I went ahead and brought in my my jig that I had. Uh, it was a base template and I just cut in four squares. They're the exact same size of the measurements that we just took. And then I went ahead and dropped in a picture image that was again sized to the exact dimensions. That way, as I'm putting the text into this jig template, I can be assured that the text will line up exactly where I want it to on each of these dog tags. So this really takes away a lot of the guesswork when engraving uh, dog tags or really anything on a laser. Like if you, if you can line it up in, in the template in the jig beforehand, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches, uh, especially when batch processing. And now I have my text aligned within each of the squares on the jig. I'm going to go ahead and add another line of text here at the top just so I can know what my jig is for. Um, it's unlabeled right now, so I'll just put in silicone dog tags and then the dimension of these particular tags. And then with that, we'll save this file and head over to the laser. This is the jig that I cut out initially just using some scrap wood. But you'll notice it's actually a little bit different size than the one I just showed you guys in Lightburn. Reason being is this is the first one I made. And it was too short. It wasn't tall enough. So basically, the laser couldn't get down to or couldn't get to the top portion uh, of the dog tag. So we made a new one that I'll show later in the video. But for right now, this is the jig I used for the initial burn test to kind of figure out my settings. Okay, so we got the G file cut, and so these drop in perfectly, and they're nice. Uh, they don't wiggle inside there; like they're nice and firm. So we measured correctly. Things look good. So let's go ahead and pop this in and start engraving the text. All right, so this is the first one that we're gonna test out. I'm only doing one at a time because I need to get my settings dialed in. And you'll notice my jig is sitting a little bit further down. It's not actually hooked into the actual of my honeycomb bed. Uh, again, that's because this first one I made was too short, but uh, we just moved it down. We fixed it in the second one we made. With that, let's go ahead and start this burn test. Here's the settings I'm using at this point, and let's see how it looks when it's done. And off the bat, we can tell that it didn't even come close to penetrating the first layer of silicone. So we gotta crank the uh, speed down and try again. So what we're wanting to see is we wanna see this gray ash kind of come up from the silicone dog tags. That means you penetrated below that first layer and hit that second black layer. And it took me a few tries to get to where I wanted to be. So this first one, uh, it wasn't too great. It wasn't quite deep enough. And then I tried again and got a little bit better. But my third try uh, with these settings shown here on the screen, this is really where it, it looks great. You see that ash popping through. So now let's go ahead and give it a post-processing clean off and see how it looks. It, one thing I wanted to mention, you know, eight passes is, is a bit much maybe, but if I went below 35 millimeters per second on this 10 watt laser, it would start to actually catch fire. The silicone would get to a temperature where it would start to catch fire. So I couldn't go any lower with the speed. So I therefore had to just increase the number of passes to get to that cut level that looked really good. Now onto the cleaning portion here. So what we're using is just a, a bowl of warm water and some dish soap. And I'm just using a toothbrush, kind of working the bristles into these areas where this ash is kind of built up and it actually comes off pretty easily. So this is not too difficult. Um, be careful around areas. You'll see uh, this is one of the test ones and I knocked the little inner part of this O off because uh, I got too aggressive. So just be a bit gentle, but get the bristles in there. And then here's a picture of this, this third 
batch I did or this third test I did to see what it looks like when it's all cleaned off again. Looks awesome. The text is nice and clear, even on the small text, it looks great. So now that we know our settings are in place and after the clean off, it looks excellent. Let's go ahead and batch process the remainder of these dog tags. So we have them in the jig here. And again, this is the, the smaller jig that I messed up on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and speed up the, the camera feed here, uh, but we batch processed uh, two more of these tags to put on my dogs. And I have two more that I'm gonna give out to some neighbors. But here is what they looked like when they were done. They came out excellent. And now let's go take a look at what they look like on the actual dog's collars. And with the project complete, here's what they look like on the dogs. Uh, turned out really good. Happy with these silicone dog tags and how they, how they engraved. I tried to get some video, but my dogs are very young. Uh, one's a complete puppy, nine weeks. Yeah, that one wants to always play with the puppy, so it was challenging. But really happy with these dog tags and kind of how they came out. Uh, again, take into account that I'm using a 10 watt laser, so the settings I'm using may be different for you. But with a lot of trial and error, you'll figure it out. And again, the links to these particular dog tags are in the video description below. So give it a shot, have fun, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. As always, thanks for stopping by. This is Zane from Mr. Armageddon Builds. Take care.